Retired Minnesota veterans recently earned a major tax break. The controversial tax cut signed into law will eliminate state income tax on veterans' retirement pay covering the entire 2016 tax cycle. Our Chelsea Brown met with representatives in Brainerd to talk about how this bill could affect the state's income. Most of these guys are coming out with a pension in their 40s. And if they've spent, you know, 18 to 20 plus years in the military, obviously there's a lot of job skills in most cases that they can bring to that economy. A clear presentation of the newest military tax exempt passed in legislation was presented to a group of veterans over breakfast. Representatives addressed many of the positive effects this legislation could have. We're competing now, you know, with to draw uh, veterans into the state. You know, uh, Wisconsin doesn't have the tax. Two years ago, Iowa got rid of the tax. Of course, South Dakota doesn't have the uh, in income tax at all. With about 370,000 military service members in the state of Minnesota, but only 19,000 retired veterans, the big push for this legislation is to attract those former veterans to the state by alleviating those pension taxes. We're pretty similar to Wisconsin. And they've had it. They've had a like a 20% increase in the number of veterans that that stay in Wisconsin, and that's about 580 million dollars that they've accumulated over the years. With this passing, Minnesota would join 16 other states that fully spare military pension income from state income taxation. Controversy has sparked over this tax cut about how an estimated 23 million dollars would be lost going toward the state federal fund. But representatives backing this new law say they see more long-term effects. I think that that argument ignored the very significant impact of hundreds of millions of dollars that would continue to grow in the state of Minnesota. People coming and participating in the economy, in a lot of cases starting businesses, hiring people. That's, that's important to acknowledge that and to recognize that's going to have a positive impact as well. In Brainerd, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. The tax exemption average is expected to be around $2,500 per tax filer a year. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.